Okay, so this is the coefficient of determination just described by uh, the symbols R squared. And this is how the authors represent this definition. The authors say that it is the fraction of variation in the response variable that is accounted for by the least squared regression line on the explanatory variable. So, some things to keep in mind. Um, one, the word fraction is also represented through a percent, okay? Um, response variable is the same thing as, well, our response was our, our y. Uh, we know what the least squared regression line is. That is uh, basically your y hat, okay? Um, on the explanatory variable, which is your x's, okay? And as long as we write this x's and y's in context, and write this fraction of variation as some sort of percent, um, then this is an easy sentence to write and to describe. So in this case, they say, describe the coefficient of determination, R squared for the relationship between the outside temperature in Fahrenheit and the Kelvin golf score. Okay, so I am gonna copy this almost verbatim, okay, but just replace your X and Y's with the inputs and the outputs that's described in the story as well as the R squared value that we found for this particular work, okay? So when we did our, um, our lin reg A plus BX, they gave us the A, they gave us the B, they gave us the R, and they gave us the R squared. And if you didn't remember what the R squared was, you could just take the R that they gave us and square it, but it is 0.9799, okay? Uh, so they gave that to us, or you could just take the R that we got and square it, Make sure that it turns out to be positive in the end. And I'm just going to rewrite this sentence. I'm going to say, this is basically the same thing as 97.99%. So 99, ah, shoot, how about 97.99% of the variation in y. Now let's think about what y is. y is the golf score. So I'm going to say Kayla's golf score. Okay. Can, uh, is accounted for by the d e squared regression line. And you can abbreviate that. I wish I would have. Okay, when I say abbreviate, you could have written L S R O. Okay, on and then whatever the explanatory variable is, which is your your x, and your x here is temperature. And you are done. Okay, so that is writing um, a sound sentence describing your coefficient of determination. All right. It's pretty routine from beginning to end. Uh, you just have to recognize the long phrasing. Oftentimes they'll do this. They'll, um, they'll write a big sentence and they'll ask you to tell the reader, okay, what is the R squared value, okay? Or what is the coefficient of determination? They'll say, what is that? And you just have to know that's the percentage up front, okay? All right, so last question. Let's play with this a little bit. It says, it is believed that the number of touchdowns that the Perry High School football team uh, will score during a 60-minute football game is based on the number of minutes they possess the ball. The correlation coefficient is 0.83. Define the coefficient of determination. Okay, so um, this tells you that R is equal to 0.83. Um, so I need R squared, which is the coefficient of determination. So I'm just going to take in my calculator and square 0.83. Okay, and that gives me 68.89% or 0.6889. Okay. And if I were to write a sentence, let's first think about what the X is and what the corresponding Y would be. Uh, the number of touchdowns will score during a 60-minute football team is based on the number 
of minutes they possess. So the minutes they possess the ball is the X and uh, the number of touchdowns is the outcome. Okay, so here's what I'll say. I'll say 68.89% of the variation in okay, Y, and you don't have to write those little Y underneath, it's just for me to help explain what it is, uh, number of touchdowns. is accounted for by, okay, now it says the least squared regression line. I'm gonna write it like this, least squared regression line, okay, on, and then whatever the X is, and that's uh, number of minutes they possess the ball. And that is it. More often than not, they'll do the reverse. Okay, they'll say, hey, what fraction of the variation um, and why, blah, 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 blah. Um, and you'll have to recognize that that is the R squared. Okay, they'll actually say, hey, here's the sentence. Tell me what the coefficient of determination is. Okay, and you just have to recognize the number out front and really just rewrite it. Okay, sometimes they'll say, here's the phrasing and the sentence tell me what the correlation coefficient is, which means you'll take this number out front, convert it to a decimal without a percent, okay, and then square root it so that you can find the um, correlation coefficient. Okay, so sometimes it's again, just the phrasing and they just want the number and it's a little bit easier than what you think. All right, if you have any questions, you let me know. That is the end of section 3.2, a long one. And if you have any questions on any part of it, you let me know. Have a good day.